We begin with breaking news from eastern Afghanistan, where at least 12 women have been killed in a stampede. They'd gathered with thousands of other people in a stadium in Jalalabad to apply for visas to Pakistan. The Pakistani consulate started issuing visas again last week after a seven-month pause due to the coronavirus. Let's go live now to Kabul. Filio Contrafuri is there for us. Filia, what more do we know about what happened? Well, Adrian, like you mentioned, the incident happened earlier this morning outside um, a stadium in the eastern city of Jalalabad, where normally hundreds of Afghans would gather every morning just to get a number so then they could process their visa applications at the Pakistani uh, consulate so they could travel uh, to, uh, to J Jalalabad. Now, local tells us that yesterday there were some rumors spreading on social media that the Pakistani consulate today would hand out more visas than usual, and that caused a lot more people that would normally gather outside that stadium to go and try to go uh, and get inside. So as a result, when the gates opened, from what locals tell us, there were thousands of people who tried to rush in as fast as they can, as they could, and that's what caused the deadly stampede, Adrian. Why are so many people so desperate to get a visa uh, to Pakistan? Well, Adrian, Pakistan is one of only a handful of countries uh, where Afghans can get a visa and travel to. Uh, the Afghan passport continues to rank as the worst in the world for international travel. So Afghans are pretty much uh, trapped here. So any chance they have to get out of here for many reasons. For example, in Pakistan, a lot of them, they have family there. There's a lot of Afghan refugees, families that are separated. And a lot of them also have to travel to Pakistan for medical reasons because Afghanistan has of the worst health care systems in the world. And that's why uh, there's so many of them trying to make it to Pakistan. And you do get the same sense outside the Pakistani embassy here in Kabul, where every morning hundreds of Afghans gather. A lot of them are sick. A lot of them have to spend the night there just so that they can make it in in the next morning and try to get a visa for Pakistan, a process that has become a lot stricter and harder uh, in the last couple of years, Adrian. Filio Contrafuri reporting live there from Kabul. Filio, many thanks indeed.